Uh, so again, thank you very much, Giuseppe Piccioni, for being with us and accepting to have a conversation about this lovely film. I've seen it twice now, and I have to say the beauty of every very good film is that each time you view it, um, some layer comes up, some new thing comes up, and you notice something that you didn't see before. Um, I guess I have two questions for you. Are you sure? So just to, to, <laughs> to start with, and then we'll see, we'll open to the audience. The first has to do with, it has to do with your choice of the place to shoot in, Ascoli Piceno, this lovely city, and choosing in particular Piazza del Popolo and this beautiful Art Deco restaurant. How did you come up with this choice and what does it mean to you? And what does it mean, what is the connection between the place you shot the film in and the story you came up with? And that's the first question. And then for the second question, we can wait. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry for my wonderful uh, English. <laughs> but uh, I'll try to, uh, to tell you something about this choice because uh, we, we thought to, to the, the f mm, in the first time, the screenplay uh, was for shooting in Rome. Uh, uh, we were sure that the film uh, has to be shooted in Rome. And then uh, I, I did succeed uh, in, in finding a place in Rome because uh, it's so hard to, to find a place where you don't have to stop the cars every time when you say action. Everybody has to stop the cars and then at the stop all the cars for uh, half an hour. Uh, uh, so I didn't know how to do. Um, I went to my hometown, Ascoli Piceno. You saw the film. It is uh, my, it's, uh, the second film I shot in, in Ascoli. The first one <laughs> and the last one. <laughs> it's not. Uh, Because non è di, di grande eh, augurio, no? Perché il primo no. è l'ultimo. Eh sì, sì, no. Eh, I was there. Uh, one day I was seated in uh, this restaurant. It is a cafe, a Liberty Cafe, the first of 1900. Uh, yeah, no, in, in English you say Liberty is translated as Art Deco. So it's the kind of, yeah, uh, the kind of So style. I was there, I uh, was looking outside. Uh, i called Riccardo, that is the actor and the producer of the film. So I told him, uh, well, well, where are we going? I, I, find, I found the place. This is the place. We have to shoot here. And so he said, me, you're crazy. We are s starting with the work of, of uh, preparation. I don't mm. know. Yeah, pre-production pre -production, yeah. yes. pre work. And, uh, i uh, sent him uh, some videos, some photos, and he called me back and he said, uh, in, a two, in two days I will be there, try to find, to organize a meeting with people there. And so we did. Uh, and we worked to the screenplay to change many things, not so many, but I, I think it was uh, a sort of, um, un valore aggiunto. Oh, it, was a, it was an asset uh, moving from Rome to Ascoli Piceno. Yes, it made a big difference. Because yeah. uh, it's, it's uh, interesting that in a small town, with this kind of small town, with, the, with this uh, square and the coffee and so on, and the restaurant, it has something uh, um, uh, more... Uh, 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 no, universal, no? In mm. the, not, not only for the meaning, even for this kind of wor work of uh, abstraction that, that I did no? in, in this film. It's not only a realistic way to see the outside. No? There is something strange, not so visible, but you can understand. Uh, so it was a happy experience, intense, and so we were 
we, are, we were in red zone during pandemia and uh, we had a kind of freedom incredible because we were in this coffee restaurant at the end of the of the daily work we had upstairs many waiters with cocktails <laughs> and so on uh, it was incredible and we were really happy to every day to to meet each other to start the day the working day everybody the actors went to to the hotel uh, walking no uh, there is no problem uh, of organizing uh, drivers and something like that. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, I, I think this kind of uh, emotion of everybody is in the film in some way. I hope so. I don't know for you, for me, of course. The experience of shooting is, uh, is more than the film. No, it was uh, a think, real experience yeah. of life. It really comes, comes across in the, Say, in the film the sort of coziness um, of the location, in a way. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. This is uh, enlightening. I didn't know you, you changed locations um, uh, before shooting. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yes, you know, I need to project my down, Everybody uh, know each other. No? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it, even the fashion, it is a kind of face... Uh, I don't know if say gentle, kind, but not kind, but uh, in a small town, no, <laughs> there are not the violence uh, of, the, of the story, the big mm. story. Mm. Then this is impossible because the story comes into this ordinary life of uh, Luciano inside. It's a kind of theater, no? Uh, a camera spill with the not so claustrophobic, Mm. Not claustrophobic. Like claustrophobic, yeah. Because you have the outside, no, always mm. the outside. So this is uh, the main interesting. interesting. Mm. I think what you asked me, it is uh, somebody told me, a critic maybe, I don't know, that uh, in my film there is a uh, geography of uh, emotions. Mm. No? Yes. Uh, and uh, I think it's true because in, in many films that I, or mine, there is a character, the main character is, uh, in, is uh, always uh, in, a, in a special pl place, no? Mm. And uh, this is connected with the character. There is the shadows, no? There is, uh, even in other films, there is something like that. And I think it's interesting because our work is to make choices, no? Mm. La mise en scène. La mise en scène, I don't know in English. Uh, yeah, directing mise en scène, yes. yeah. Directing is not the yeah, same thing. Just like just, uh, to organize the space, organize the, how the uh, actors work, organize the light, everything. To have an idea, no? To, to do, I, I can do this. You remember the declaration of war with the voice of Mussolini from, uh, now from the sky, I don't know. This is a kind of uh, choice of, mm -hmm. of that is la mise en scène, la mise en scène. Thank you. Um, I don't know, maybe we can open to the audience. Maybe we can open, yeah. We have a question over there. I promised you. I promised you yesterday, so here I am. I wrote it down. Um, so I, I'll try and keep it short. Um, I'm sorry because I'm you my try. Is, Yes. <laughs> um, so mm, the oppression becomes, as you said, more and more insistent so at the beginning it's a little bit lighter and then you can't avoid it anymore uh, and yet the people the characters become freer in a way especially Luciano becomes a little bit more emotionally free and uh, even uh, Anna becomes a little bit more empowered so I wonder whether it was intentional to have this um, sort of uh, hope message that in oppression maybe that's when people find their real strength and the real freedom and uh, again if it was also in, um, intentional to portray people who react so differently in the space of oppression so you have uh, Giovanni the cook who is uh, fearful and uh, you know he doesn't quite know and he gets led by others you have Luciano is very ambiguous and yet he has principles that are uh, apart from is politics and 
Anna is fearful and yet she's, she cries, she's very emotional, but she's, she doesn't give up. And Emil is the revolutionary and, you know, he kind of has his own idea. So I wonder how much, if that's an, um, a message, I saw a message to remember that in the face, again, of oppression and uh, difficulties of difficult conversations you were making, we can't expect too much of each other because everyone does what they can. So I wonder if these two things that I saw were intentional, if they weren't, if you, now that I told you, you can use them. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> Thank it's you. It's, a, it's a, a question, very interesting, because uh, I don't know if to, to answer in a classical way, because it's very interesting, <laughs> because you have many intention, you know, when you work to, to a film. And, and, and you work shooting um, the scenes, and when you work, you have not a plane. This is the plane, you, ha you have only to, to do the plane, no? Mm. The plan? Uh, you mean the, what you plan? You have to understand better with, with mm. what kind of film are you doing, no? Mm. What kind of <coughs> film are, are you making? And so sometimes uh, something happens, we don't know how, and so this is a miracle in the cinema because we have, it, we have to do with life, with people uh, acting, uh, the sun is not good, but uh, it's, ra it's raining uh, and something happens di different from what I imagine, but outside is, it was raining, really. It was not the, the rain machine. Uh, and so I, I try to adapt to some situations, some difficulties, and uh, but to find a solution. It is very interesting. This, uh, of course, uh, I wanted to to s to show a reality in the restaurant, no, uh, <coughs> where the look of uh, Luciano outside in the beginning is a look of a fascist, like the majority of Italian in that period, no, the, the fascism was strong, there was mm. a kind of a, a, a wall <laughs> of strength of the, mm. of, of the fascism. And this, and this not a fascist. Uh, it's a sort of a reluctant it's, it's fascist. It's way, no? Reluctant fascist? Eh? Reluctant, il fascista riluttante. Yes, it, it doesn't want to, to be, to to go to to have to do with the with the apparato mm, the apparatchito yes like the uh, I want he want to stay in the restaurant so but he looks outside uh, with uh, some hope no maybe something good could happen and uh, this place where he he looks outside during the film it is the same place but he has to defend from the outside. The, the people don't smile like in the first part. The people look at the restaurant with the hostility. They are hostile. They, are, they suspect something. They are not good uh, mm. looks. No, uh, and so, uh, to, to, uh, till to the, the stone that breaks the shadows, no, uh, you remember. So I think this is the film, this is this map, geographic map, and the characters of, uh, of uh, Luciano, uh, Anna, uh, and the others. I don't want to, to know exactly, I don't have a receipt to say, oh, I want to say this or that. <laughs> but people are more than the, than the, surface, no, are more, Luciano, uh, Luciano is something more than a fascist. Emil is something less maybe of a, of an anti-fascist, no, mm. something more too. Uh, Anna is a woman uh, engaged in this, uh, in this front, uh, but sometimes she thinks about, I want to go out with a, a beautiful, with beautiful clothes in, on Sunday. There's the life, the life of people, no? And so, of course, I'm anti-fascist. I cannot be, uh, I, I cannot be sympathizing with uh, Osvaldo, of course. <coughs> but it was interesting uh, to imagine a character uh, not in a 
usual way, like Luciano. It's very, I think it was the, something new no, for Italy. Yeah, I thought the film does this very well, so depicting how fascism is not some kind of like absolute evil, faceless evil, but it sort of like seeps into the life of every one of us and in like small town Italy. That's how it sort of festered among Adesso people. Adesso mi ridici tutto in italiano. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. mm. il, um, questo film riesce a descrivere il fascismo non come una sorta di male, è il male assoluto ovviamente, of però non è una cosa senza faccia che diciamo invade le nostre vite, ma è una cosa che si sviluppa piano piano, che festa il schermo. Sì. Dagli errori di chi ha contribuito, a, mm-hmm. even from the mistakes of uh, people that has the chance to do something to oppose, no? to, to, sell, to do something against the fascism. Um, uh, they didn't, they didn't. Uh, there are a lot of mistakes, not only in Italy, even in, in Germany, a lot of mistakes. Uh, of course, uh, Social democracy in Germany killed uh, Rosa Luxemburg. Mm. And uh, yeah, you cannot imagine what does it mean that. You can understand what that, what's happening now. It's very strange you now that we are bombing, we are sending arms, no, sending arms. Uh, weapons? Weapons, mm. no. And so my, it's not so, mm. it's, it's not something, no. I remember and, uh, it was sorry, I don't, I don't mean to cut you short, but maybe we have other questions from the audience. Anyone? But I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, may I just add to the uh, question? The, the question that um, the lady over there, uh, I think um, it ties in to my second comment that has had to do with cinematography. So the characters develop and you can see that in the cinematography nella fotografia as well, which starts very desaturated, very grayish, yes, and then it becomes... But in the beginning, uh, it's, all, it's also uh, essential, clear, no? in a kind of way, because uh, when you see the, the, the girls you know, making... Making now the, the come si chiama uh, I don't gymnastics. know the gymna- gymnasts Gym. display yeah okay um, you see something uh, then then happens happens something the the lights are they get increasingly warmer I noted and by the less end of it, light less yeah. more shadows. Uh, Uh, less people in the restaurant, less people outside, something, you know, in the, and, mm. but the interesting thing is not only in the, this is a kind of work we do in the Le Mise en Seine session, mm. but there is, all, there is also a tension, you no, know, because people uh, don't speak as in the beginning, they s- pay attention, everybody there is something hearing, everybody mm. there is, uh, uh, there is a, the fascism is inside the restaurant. The waiter is, uh, is the, the young boy, no, we, we feel, uh, sentiamo pena anche per questo ragazzo, no? Yeah, we, we pity the poor, the poor Noi boy. Noi sentiamo pena, but we, we hate him in some yeah, way, no? at the in same the, time we hate him, And yeah. then when he, and then, uh, He's af- inside, he looks what's happening to, to tell to the, his boss, no? Mm. Uh, uh, and this is the, the feeling, uh, in, 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 like in a Hitchcock film in a certain sense, no? This kind of feeling. I remember Notorious, you, I don't know, you, you see Notorious <laughs> by Hitchcock, Cary Grant, uh, Ingrid Bergman, each of them, He cannot speak with the, with the Americans that are there. Uh, she cannot speak with the German people in Brazil. No? Uh, they cannot speak together. It's incredible. No? It's a film, incredible, a love story. 
incredible. And this is a kind of that. Now, there is also the quest this question, or questa question del voi e del lei. Oh, spiegata. yeah. Um, I mean, it's a bit hard to uh, translate that in English because such thing doesn't and exist. Issue, doesn't but it's the formal address in Italian. Um, we used to dare del lei uh, to uh, formally address people we don't know. And, and the fascist formal address. At the, so there's two things. This is uh, dare del lei is still uh, working because it's not has nothing to do with fascism. It's just a formal address. Uh, during the fascist regime, they changed the formal address in voi instead of lei, and. I don't know what, what you wanted to say about that. Um, I want to say even that is something uh, uh, that uh, for a kind of uh, intimate relations is an obstacle, no? Yeah, uh, no. It, uh, it makes things harder. I want harder. to say another thing. The fascism is not the fascism. We now, after the war, after this period, we say fascist, fascist. In that period, was not that in the in in uh, 1920, 21, uh, after the First World War, there is a, such a confusion. So there are many souls in fascism. No, mm. so there were uh, intellectuals. Many of them they became uh, leftists, of course. No. Uh, but uh, it's, it's not possible to say the fascism is only that thing, no? It, somebody thought it was a kind of revolution, no? Uh, uh, maybe Mussolini didn't want it to, to make a war. Uh, to, till the end he tried to, to avoid, but he did it. And mm. it's very strange. That he, I, I had a, a lot of... of uh, Reading books about uh, this peri period of our lives is, is there is something modern, so so close to what we are living now. No, uh, it's not something in the past. The fascist is something strange. No, of no, course, no. it's not something remote, uh, it's, uh, which it's is incredible. unfortunate. We have to pay sh attention to what hap what's happening around us. There are really. Not to say, oh, the fash, everybody, it's not the same thing. Today is not the same question of uh, many years ago. It's different. So we have to understand better what is different. I, unfortunately, the time has run out. Um, but uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Giuseppe Piccioni. Thank you very Grazie. much, everyone. Volevo chiamare Riccardo Scamarco. Ah.